Hi peoples, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bernie or my friends, subscribers call me <laughs> wrong. I forgot my own intro. I've been recording and some of what I, some of the footage I, so before I get into this video, I know that it seems like the world is going crazy. And even though I don't live in America, we are very, very close to the United States. It's a short 20 minute flight from Freeport where I live to Florida. And we're always in Florida. All of my doctors, well, most of my doctors are in Florida. All the rest of our relatives live in the United States. And so we spend a lot of time over there. Watching that video, it was really, really difficult for me. I mean, trying to understand how was that necessary i don't know i feel like 2020 is a mess remember uh, y2k everyone was panicking for y2k i think we might have gotten that wrong and it was supposed to be 2020 because this has just been a total mess i have high hopes that it's going to get better liking and subscribing to my channel we don't charge for subscribership. I was going to, and then I was like, you know what? No, I'm not gonna charge them. I'm just gonna let them come in and chat. And I'm just gonna let them subscribe for free. So there's now a 100% discount on charging for at Bernie playing with makeup. Um, no shade, no tea that our favorite beauty gurus are no longer in the business of tutorials. They are just plugging whatever it is they're plugging and giving us their life updates and keeping it pushing foundation well two things first of all good skin prep is important it doesn't matter um whether you're using high-end whether you're using um affordable whatever it is you're using you have to pay attention to um your skin and make sure that you're prepping your skin make sure you're just taking care of your skin in general so it creates a barrier between it creates a barrier between your skin and the foundation that you're about to put on fenty has this primer they have their the, the original i think which was soft matte i'm not sure what i did but i don't see mine's there but they have this in a modified one this one here is a hydrating one and then they also have um, the original, which I think was is a semi one, so it's in between. So in selecting your found your primer, you want to look at it with your skin, with your particular skin. Um, you want to look at your particular skin type. One thing that I like to do is if a foundation has a primer. I always use that primer. They already know each other. They've been sitting down in the lab talking. Hey, how you doing? You know, I I I can be able to make sure that you look good. You know, make sure that y'all that we, we can work together and give them, you know, just that bomb looking face. Right? Okay, I'm looking at myself in the monitor. I have a burn right here. Okay, I have a little burn. I have a little burn, I have a little burn right here. I've been playing around with eyeshadow and trying to get a sharp look. So I was playing around with, I had an eye shield on and when I took it off, it left under my eyes a little, it left under my eye um, a little bit, well not a little bit, a good bit um, burnt. It is now, even though you can still see it, it is healed. So I don't, I don't mind putting makeup on, on top of it because it's healed. In my case, my skin is not the same color as the rest of my body. And that is because I was on medication a while ago. My face tried to come back and the rest of my body was like, no, I am good. I'm not coming back. And then thank you very much, Hurricane Dorian. Our water table is very salty. The effect on my face is I have some very annoying hyperpigmentation darkness around my mouth. Yeah, I think this is Sienna. If I'm wrong, I'll put it on the screen. But I believe this is Sienna. This foundation, the shade is a really good match for me. But the undertone is neutral. 
And so even though this foundation is a shade match for me, it doesn't look right on me because of the undertone. Me personally, I prefer um, stippling. This is such a beautiful foundation. I do think um, Alora, I was supposed to mention this in that video, my Alora, um, best of Alora 2019 video. I do think Pat McGrath got robbed that this foundation should have definitely made that list. This foundation feels light as air. One thing I want to stress is that whenever you're putting any type of makeup on, you want to make sure that blending is something that you pay attention to. Blending is your friend. Now around my mouth, I would have preferred to use um, concealer just because lately I've found that putting concealer around my mouth where I have the most hyperpigmentation, I find that I like the way that looks better. I mean, I understand that no one has time to be spending money buying two, founda two foundations. It'll be easier for you to tone that down as opposed to if you go with a, found with a concealer that is three, four shades lighter. Um, like I said, Pat McGrath does not have a foundation. When she first launched this collection, she didn't launch it with a foundation. Well, sorry, Pat McGrath has a concealer. I'm, I'm saying I'm so much. I'm going to edit all that damn arms out. I'm gonna start off with this sponge. Now I ain't gonna promise I can stay with it because I'm, I'm remembering that I really didn't like using this sponge. When you've been doing it for quite a while, like all of our favorite gurus, they can do it almost with their eyes closed. But when you're new, we can't do that. So wish me luck with this, with this thing. I don't think you're supposed to do it like this. I don't know, but all right, so I, um, I'm looking up. this concealer just a little bit of this concealer goes a long way and because i haven't used this concealer in so long i forgot so right now i have on way too much concealer like way too much let me see if we can work her out I feel like it's already drying now So if the unblended side is dry, has already like started to dry down, I'm just gonna spray a little bit of um, setting spray. 
to bring it back to life. It almost looks a little bit more oranges and orange oranges orangey orangey in person than it looks on camera. I like to just like take my time and gently push the powder in. And I don't mind today, especially using um, a deeper powder, just because the concealer I use is bright and outside of my comfort zone. I really don't remember this concealer being that bright. Really, really don't. This powder, this shade might have set under my eyes really good. I like how it looks. On my on my other areas that might have started really nice okay and oh yeah this is a black owned company I think so far the only thing that I deviated from the only deviation I had was under my eyes that I start with Laura Mercier I always do that I always like spritz the first whenever I go and do setting spray I don't always do it right on my face I learned that the hard way so I always spritz a little bit on the side make sure she good before I go in So if your face, if you feel like your face looking powdery, even though you're not finished yet, you could use some setting spray to get rid of some of that. I'm gonna use um, Mocha Mommy as a blush. This, I know it's a bronzer, but I don't like it on me as a bronzer. So I'm gonna try it today as a blush. I feel like it, it's a pretty, pretty, it's a pretty, pretty blush. Before I put the lipstick on, let me set my face. I may set my face this time using this. The, I don't like how that one smell and the nozzle too much. It's too thick. It's my really cheap. I'm gonna use this gloss from Stila. a little bit more vampy than I was going for with the lips so this is it this is what we came up with so let's talk about it don't just put on the foundation and then leave it there build on the house you can't move in the house with just the foundation okay and if you know me to go do whatever this you know me to do so um, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up and you if you're not yet subscribed make sure you just make sure you hit the subscribe button. I will see you in my next video. Bye!